Hey, what's up, guys? It's Team Hard Life Captain Albert Tertucci here. All right, so today I'm going to do a little history on why we use the Tackle Industries rod, but also to just give you a little bit more insight as to what they are. Stay tuned. Tackle Industries rod, the reason we got into them was actually because of my tournament fishing partner, Damon Remillard, actually would use these rods with the Ambassador Revos, so, or Abu Garcia Revos. Well, with those reels, they put out a lot of drag, but what we did was, when we fought Jack Carvels, was we would lock the reel over and we would literally stop them in their tracks. And what I mean by that is, you know, the fish would be over here, we're jerking, as soon as we set the hook, we would literally turn our back to the beach and the rod would just be bowed like this. And whereas they would turn and come toward us, we'd horse them right into the beach. Now, I loved it because at the same time he was using those, I still was skeptical because when I picked it up, I'm, you know, that type of person. Oh, that feels weak. Well, when I saw him fishing with it, doing it like that, it really caught my eye. So we started pairing them up with the Abbots, and especially the Abbott Raptors. That was, it was the biggest obstacle that we overcame when we started dealing with the Abbott Raptors and trying to find rods that would back up the reel and what it could do. These Abbots put out a lot of drag, so when you lock it over and you have a rod that all it does is fold over, you were losing power. So you would end up having to use your back and force it up more and stuff like that. But with these Tackle Industries rods, we didn't have that problem. As soon as we set the hook and we locked it over, we started pulling, we started gaining line. It wasn't letting the fish pull the rod bend and you know trying to, to exert ourselves. It just made fighting fish easier, faster, and more convenient. And there's a lot of videos on this channel where we're out there on the end of the jetties and we're pulling in 40 and 50 inch bull reds, no problem. The only thing was everybody's asking, well, what kind of rods were we using? So I'm always, having to go back in and reply, which I don't mind because I haven't done this video. And still I won't mind because that's the way I am. I like to share my knowledge as to why, when, how, and whatever, as long as it was knowledge that I've earned myself. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that I go out with others and I learn something from them, but I don't share because it's not my knowledge to share because they were the ones who taught me. Now if they say, hey man, I'd like you to share it, well then cool. That's awesome, they gave me approval, which, you know, will happen, maybe, sometimes. But, with these rods, it was all because of my, my partner, Damon, doing the research he did. So I also got up with James, the owner of Tackle Industries, and he divulged a lot more information about how he got into the rod building and so forth, and, you know, a lot of these companies, they don't tell you how or what kind of composite they build their rods with because they don't want that information getting out. Now, a lot of companies go out there and they do the research, they build them, and they tell everybody everything of how they're building it and so forth. A bigger, better rod, but at the same time not gaining any weight, James took a lot of their information from multiple companies and combined them to make this rod. And by doing that, he offers up now a superior rod that can be put to all kinds of abuse, such as the guys in Florida. There's already been a 1,200 pound alligator landed on the Vex and Rods, which is the next generation of the Tackle Industries, and it's what they call the Inshore Series. However, y'all have already seen it where I take it offshore and I'm landing a monster snapper with no worries. But it's because, like I said, I like to fish with gear that when I start to crank lines coming in the reel, not because the rod is bowing down and taking up slack. Obviously, it's gonna do that, but it's gonna stop at a certain point where the backbone kicks in and allows me to do my job of pulling in the fish faster. That's kind of the rundown of why I was moving into those, but at the same time, too, everybody knows that has fish with me. When I'm casting, I cast a rod, and a lot of times I've broken rods on cast. 
I haven't broken any of these on cast, and y'all seen some videos where we were doing the casting demonstrations for the SX, MXL, LX, and even the HXW. A lot of those were with the tackle industry and or the Vexen. Again, with the tackle industry, the one we really prefer is the nine foot single piece foam, because they actually have a split grip here. And the one we love is the extra, extra heavy, which is 81 50 pound class rod. That is nine foot knife, such as a uh, sword or something like that, where you can actually sit there and balance it on a finger. I mean, this is <laughs> pretty insane. So, I really love these. Yes, they come with a graphite reel seat, but I'm putting my Raptors on them and I've never had to put the back plate on it or worry about it because the hardware that he builds his rods out of is very, very durable. So, that's why we go with ours. They've even got the center steel inserts here, which go great with it. They are rated for a six ounce to a 16 ounce lure if you want to throw lures. And then for the braid, it's 80 to 150 pound test. Now that is beyond anything or beyond, and it's more than capable of pulling in bigger fish, whether you want to fish the beach, you want to fish the jetty, you want to fish the bay, you want to fish on your kayak, you want to go fish on your boat, it doesn't really matter. This rod, along with the Vexen rod, which I'm gonna explain on the next video, will be your go-to rods if you especially love putting torque on fish, because I do, as you can see. So, again, like I said, this is a video on, as to why we prefer our tackle industry rods, and also, too, how we fished them. I mean, you'll see a lot of the videos, so, again, we're almost to the 250 subscriber mark. We got information that we've already got approved from our sponsor for that giveaway. We're just waiting for them to come in, so that way, we can announce what we're doing. So, and actually, there's no telling. We may have a, multiple sponsors come in for this giveaway or how it's gonna work out. But again, we're almost there. We already passed up 2,300 fairly quickly, as might I say, and we're looking at it. Also too, before I forget, these rods have a no questions asked policy, which means if you break it in a, door jam or you uh, slam it in the car door or something and break it, bring it back and with a small deposit you can actually get a brand new rod for free. What other company does that? Especially when it had nothing to do with fishing. I'm the same. So there you go. That's the Tackle Industries 9 foot single cork grip with the extra extra heavy. They do come in lighter classes for the medium, heavy, extra heavy, and the extra, extra heavy. So just food for thought, guys. If you're looking into some rods to be your all around kind of rod, I highly recommend looking into those. So again, this is Team Hardlock, Captain Officer Tucci. Y'all have a good one.